What's going on guys, Ryan with Jet Patrol back with another video today, episode 48 of the Six Scale News. Let's get started. That's right guys, we're back with another episode of Six Scale News. Hope you guys are excited about this because we got some cool stuff to talk about today. Some stuff that may be off your radar and you it might end up on your radar. It's de it definitely wasn't on my radar, so we'll talk about that. Uh, but we actually just unboxed, I guess we're just going to dive right into it. We just unboxed and reviewed the Hot Toys Batman Beyond figure, the Arkham Knight Batman Beyond, not the animated one. And I'll tell you what, that figure blew me away. I would, I'm, I'm super excited to actually have that one in the collection. And uh, yeah, I, I'm happy. I've got it in the cabinet right now. You can check out that video right here if you want to go check that out. Uh, it was a lot of fun. I will definitely be doing a lot more posing with that one. And if you guys would like to see a posing session with that figure, uh, let me know in the comments section down below. We'll try to knock that out in sometime in the near future. Uh, but I will tell you, if I can go ahead and, and, and get into the book here, uh, and you guys can actually see some some photos of this thing. It's actually uh, an absolutely glorious figure. Absolutely glorious. This has already sold out overseas. It's gone. It's gone, okay? So if you are wanting this figure and you're in the States, you might, I say you might, you should go ahead and pre-order this particular figure because uh, it, it's I, I, it's one of those that, like I say often that there's small production runs. This one I'm told is like super super small, super small, and. Um, my prediction is after the reviews start dropping, kind of like mine, uh, some people were seeing how awesome this figure is and they're kind of wanting this figure and they didn't want to miss out on it like they did the Arkham Knight Batman figure from a couple years back, uh, then this one's going to not actually make it to any shipping status at Sideshow. I think this one's going to hit wait list before it actually ships. So um, just throwing that out there, you know, you do with the, with, you do with the info what you want, um, but it's, it's that good. It, it just, it's just that good. It's a, it's a great figure. So I'm pretty uh, happy I was able to get that one in. Uh, even though it is a DC figure, but it looks pretty good next to Red Hood and some other stuff I've got coming inbound. Uh, I am somewhat excited for the Batgirl uh, that's coming from the Arkham Knight. I think that one's going to be kind of good. Um, we'll see. We'll see how that goes. I don't know. Um, but that's that one. Uh, that's probably the latest news to release-wise. Obviously, in the month of March... Uh, we had, what, two releases or one? Maybe been one release. Uh, so far in April, we've got one. So we're tied with March so far, but we're going to see some other releases. So just stay tuned for that. We're going to see some releases. Um, but that, that's kind of... Um, it's been kind of a slow 2021 for six scale collecting, at least on my end, uh, as far as, you know, for YouTube and that kind of stuff. Um, some interesting news on the wait list, actually, since we're talking about waitlisted items. Uh, Nebula, this past week, went on wait list with Sideshow. And then, out of nowhere, boom, it's, it's still in, it's in stock. So I don't know what's going on with their website. I, I, we, th we had this happen before. We've had this happen before. Well, something was, they'll show up the little blue line that says you have five minutes to check out and it's in your cart and all that kind of mess. And then, uh, you know, people go crazy and they buy it. Um, and then it goes to wait list. And then the next day or an hour later or whatever it is, it goes, boom, no, we found a whole truckload uh, and uh, we've got a lot more left. So that's actually happened with Nebula. So I, I don't think you'll be upset if you bought that figure because I think it's a great figure. And they're certainly not going to make another Nebula. Like, that's just off-the-wall character. I just don't see that happening. And it, it really is a good figure. So don't be upset if you picked it up. I would tell you that you don't want to miss it. You just don't. Anyways, I got a link for all the stuff we're going to talk about today in the description below. If you happen to use the links that I have down below, it does help the channel. So thanks if you do that. If you don't, that's okay, too. Um, but Nebula is actually still in stock, and you can actually get it shipped fairly soon. The figure that did go on waitlist, though, was actually Rocket Raccoon from Endgame. That was kind of out of nowhere. Like, he's been up there a good minute, and you know, some people are like, I don't want to spend 200 bucks, $250 on a little four-inch figure, and, and I, I get it. I, I understand. Um, and so, you know, th those figures tend to, you know, sit there a little while. 
Uh, but he actually has hit wait lists, and he hasn't been back in stock yet. So that's kind of interesting to see what's going on. I fully expect that figure to appreciate value at the time the Iron Patriot figure is actually released in Hong Kong. When people still got to start getting the Iron Patriot in, they're going to want to put Rocket on the shoulder, and they're going to want to, the whole thing. Everybody's going to going to uh, is going to want to um, replicate that fight scene and it's going to be on every shelf and everywhere so mine included it's going to look awesome so um you know it's one of those things that uh, if you want to get it you might want to get it now because like i said when iron patriot drops it's going to go uh kind of crazy the other figure that is not on wait list yet it's not a wait list but surprising you know information has dropped this past week uh, they actually released the trailer for Bad Batch uh, on Disney Plus, and included in that trailer is Captain Rex. And the hype for Clone Wars is, boom, going all the way back up to the freaking moon, and I couldn't be more excited. The, the, the trailer looked fantastic. Seeing Rex in the trailer was fantastic, knowing that I've got three Captain Rex Hot Toys figures coming to me from three different sources. Uh, and uh, I'm pretty excited for that. But I want to see Rex with Cody and then eventually Ahsoka. I mean, we need Ahsoka to show up in the collection. If it's not released yet, neither one of those are. I'm not expecting to see those anytime soon. So you got a minute before you need to pre-order those. But if the hype goes the way it's going, could be kind of crazy on, on the Captain Rex part. And, and rightfully so. And interesting enough, the sideshow versions of these, the Rex and the Cody, are still doing fairly well in the marketplace. So that's kind of crazy. They're still in that 300, maybe 300 plus pr uh, price range on those figures, which is kind of interesting. So there's that. So uh, Nebula hit, uh, hit waitlist, but not really. Rocket hit waitlist and he's actually still there. And then we have some announcements. So I kind of want to get into these things. Uh, some figures announcements that may not be on your radar. They're certainly not ones we talk about uh, on this channel a whole lot as far as these companies, but maybe we should. Maybe you would like to see more of this stuff from like these out, you know, weird stuff out there that's not in the mainstream of six scale collecting. Um, and if you would, just let me know in the comment section down below. We'll, we'll, we'll start adding this stuff in there. Uh, but one that I actually want to pre-order, but I, for the life of me, can't get their website to work. It's kind of driving me nuts. Is the Blitzway Wally. And other people might know him as Waldo or Where's Waldo. But overseas, he's known as Wally. And uh, they uh, put this figure up for pre-order. I think it's super awesome. I think it's a cool figure. And I definitely want to have it in the collection. If... I can get their website to work. And I actually messaged them and they've yet to, um, on their Facebook page or whatever, they've yet to actually respond. So, uh, yay Blitzway, rock and roll uh, on the customer service side. But it's um, it, it looks like a good figure. I'm going to try it again maybe in a couple of days, see if we can pick this up. I will have a link for it down below. You can try it yourself. And it's not a terribly expensive figure. It's 200 and some odd dollars. And uh, for what you get, I think the nostalgia of it and the cool factor and the posability of like hiding him in the collection, I just think that would be kind of fun. They are making a six scale version and they're making a 12th scale version. So depending on which you know scale you like to collect, obviously if you're watching this six scale, but you might want a smaller one for your Marvel Legends or Black Series figures or whatever. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Um, uh, this one, other one, it, this is something I'm definitely not interested in buying myself. I don't watch horror movies. I don't like horror related things. It just doesn't interest me why somebody would want to scare themselves on purpose beats me but there's people out there that really like that stuff so here you go uh this is art the clown from trick-or-treat studios it's creepy I, and i think that's obviously the goal it's creepy it's 130 bucks uh, there's links for all the stuff down below it's on pre-order uh, i know nothing about this company i know nothing about this clown other than i don't want to meet him but um there you go this is one of those oddball things that i thought uh, we'd uh, talk about today so there's art the clown for trick-or-treat studios the next one i do know a little bit about this i have watched some of these uh anyways uh ultraman this is actually um, from, uh, let's see, it was, I had that, 3 0. Yes. What I was brain freezing there for a second. 3 0 is making this, and 3 0 makes some pretty good figures. So I'm actually, this is kind of cool. I kind of dig this one. Uh, this is Ultraman Suit Taiga, I believe is how you say it. Uh, and it looks pretty freaking cool. And it's not expensive either. $149 for a six scale Ultraman. That's pretty cool. Obviously, they don't have a portrait to deal with. And it's not going to come with a ton of accessories. But if you're into the, that kind of deal, uh, you might be interested in this figure. It is up for pre order again. Uh, links down below uh, for that one. And then I've got this one uh, from Elder Scrolls Skyrim. This is actually from Pure Arts. Now, Pure Arts, 
are the ones who are making the uh, figures and the bike from um, Cyberpunk. All right, so they're making those, and uh, they are made this figure. This is from the video game uh, Skyrim, and this is Dragon Sword, Dragonborn. I haven't played the game. Dragonborn. That's why I write it down. Um, Dragonborn. Two hundred nine bucks are here. I, I, it looks okay uh, if you like the Viking kind of deal going on and that Nordic uh, stuff. It might be something you're interested in. It looks like single jointed elbows from what I can tell. Doesn't look like it's got a whole lot of range of motion, uh, but. If you might want to pick this up, I'll put links for it down below. It should be available at Collector Zone. I think it's also available at Sideshow. Um, but you can pick that one up if you like. So that's one of your things. Uh, and then one more. Stuff I don't normally talk about. Uh, one Punch Man. Uh, I'm assuming... I, I don't know who this character is. I'm not even going to assume. Garou? Uh, Garou? I don't know how you say the name. I wanted to share it with you because I saw it and I was like, you know what? It'd be kind of cool. So here we go. Uh, three zeros also making this one. It's $129. So it is not one tent, one punch man or Saitama as the other guy. I don't know if he's a good guy or a bad guy. I have no idea, but there he is. If you want to pick that figure up link in the description below. So that's what's going on on that. I thought we'd talk about some just off oddball stuff at least in my world of collecting. They don't really fit in my collection, but they might fit in yours and you might be interested uh, in checking those out. So, markets. We kind of talked about waitlisted items. I want to talk about some uh, the marketplace right now. It's got some weird stuff going on. Star Wars has continued to just you know, go to the moon, as they say. It's been kind of crazy. Uh, I got some notes here. Uh, Tarkin Invader 2-pack. If you got the Rogue One Tarkin Invader 2-pack. Those things are selling for over 800 bucks. $800 for a Tarkin Invader 2-pack. That is I mean, just... Tarkin himself is like 500 bucks plus just for Tarkin. Like, that's... that's I don't know. That's, it's just... That boggles my mind that that's actually going on right now with that figure that comes with pretty much nothing. Comes with a chair and a couple hands uh, and, some, and some pins, you know, stuff to go in his uh, jacket. But... Not a whole lot of, uh, of stuff going on there, but the portrait is flipping amazing and it's fantastic. So pretty cool. Uh, so there's Target Invader two back going for about eight hundred bucks. Dark Side Anakin's bumping it up seven hundred dollars plus again. That one you may see that one hit eight hundred bucks. The regular Anakin, not even the Dark Side, the regular Anakin is still pushing that six hundred dollar range and even a little higher. So that's kind of crazy too, the pricing wise. So for Star Wars, so if you are wanting to sell those figures. Now is the time to sell them. If you wanted to buy them, now may not be the time to buy them because you know as well as I do, markets do this. It's one of those things. So they might continue to rise, might not. I don't know. Uh, my my prediction is uh, Anakin's going to just kind of stay up there pretty good well, uh, ways because honestly, it's Anakin. It's Vader. It is what it is. So that's kind of awesome. Generoso Deluxe, 600 plus. Uh, on the uh, on the sales on that one, uh, I can totally see that one. That's a great figure. So many accessories: the jacket, the poncho, the 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 Rogue One storyline to go with it. The only thing I could see that would really push Jen Urso even higher is if they announced Cassian. Like eventually, maybe that's what people are planning on. Like eventually, we're gonna get a Cassian from his show uh, Andor. Uh, if that happens, uh, there ain't no telling what the heck that figure is gonna do. It's gonna be crazy. And then a shock. A shock for me, honestly. I thought a couple weeks ago when we talked about the Nightmare Batman and Black Suit Superman figure two pack, that the price would come down on the Nightmare Batman from 2016 SCCC. Uh, it has not. That thing is still hovering in the $500 range. I guess people are impatient and they don't want to wait, or maybe they really don't want the Black Suit Superman, or maybe they want the original release with this. I don't know. I'm not sure. What are your thoughts on that? Why is that figure still so high? Is it hype for Justice League? People being impatient? What are your thoughts on that? Let me know uh, down below. All right. Last but not least, we're going to shrink the time on this particular uh, episode. Last but not least, uh, we do have an upcoming un figure announcement, uh, which is probably why you guys are here. We do have one. I, now, the, the next release has, hasn't been like decided yet so don't don't give me that. the next figure announcement the upcoming announcement is probably going to be this week and finally usually when i say that it's usually a couple hours after i actually say that so there you go uh we're gonna see falcon from falcon and the winter soldier so we should see which suit we're gonna get are we gonna get the one we've seen in the series so far 
that's my prediction. I think we're going to, because I don't think they're going to announce a figure and a suit that we haven't seen yet. I don't think they're going to spoil things like that. So probably going to get the suit we've seen in the first few episodes of Falcon and the Winter Soldier. And maybe later on down the line, maybe a Toy Fair exclusive or something like that, we'll, we might get a different version of Falcon. But the fact is, we are getting a Falcon to go with our Bucky. So that's pretty cool so that's the news for today guys if you haven't already subscribed please do so if you like news like this i do have unboxings coming i've got alita battle angel and we've got rocket uh, from endgame which actually just hit waitlist i bought mine before it hit waitlist uh, so those are inbound uh from pop collectibles and um yeah that's pretty much it for today so as always click what you like see you next time